Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim my dear students and audience in this video we will learn about measuring inbreeding coefficient and relationship coefficient from pedigree inbreeding is mating of relatives an animal born as a result of inbreeding is called inbred animal inbreeding causes an increase in homozygosity uh, which means increase in the number of homozygous loci in inbred individuals it also increases the frequency of homozygous genotypes in an inbred population examples of inbreeding are sire into daughter mating son into dam mating mating between full sibs and mating between half sibs etc inbreeding causes inbreeding depression which is a decrease in the performance of inbreds most noticeably in traits like fertility and survivability in worst case scenario an expression of deleterious recessive alleles lethal and semi lethal with major effects is a very visible consequence of inbreeding now what is inbreeding coefficient fx it is the level of inbreeding in an individual is measured by inbreeding coefficient it explains the probability that both alleles of a gene in an individual are identical by descent two alleles are identical by descent if they are copies of a single ancestral gene both copies are coming from the same person so they are same so the level of inbreeding of an offspring is determined by the closeness of the pedigree relationship between its parents so it all depends upon the parents of that individual if they are related he or she would be inbred if they are not related then it would be a non inbred individual so mandatory information we need for measuring inbreeding coefficient is both male and female parents of the animal are known and the relationship between both the parents is also known <clears throat> in case one and or two is not uh, there fx cannot be determined using pedigree based methods and would presumably be considered zero so this emphasizes the importance of recording pedigrees in animal breeding without which we cannot calculate inbreeding coefficient and relationship coefficient so rights inbreeding coefficient uh, and a simple algorithm for computing it is civil right is given as under fx is equal to summation a half of n1 plus n2 plus 1 multiplied by 1 plus fa so fx is inbreeding coefficient of animal x n1 is the number of generations between male uh, parent uh, from the common ancestor and n2 is the number of generations separating female parent and uh, their common ancestor fa is inbreeding coefficient of common ancestor named a and summation is summing all over the path connecting sire and dam of inbred individual so we will develop paths i will show you in the examples through common ancestor and also it sums over all the common ancestors if the number of common ancestors is more than one so uh, we can simplify this formula if fa is zero our common ancestor is not inbred then the formula becomes fx is equal to summation a half n1 plus n2 plus 1 so let's do a simple example we have a pedigree with one common ancestor it's half sib mating arrow diagram is given here we have an individual x its male parent is s female parent is d and they have both have a common ancestor a so a from a to n is uh, a to s is n1 and a to d is n2 uh, generation separating common ancestor and dam and sire so let's solve this example fx a half of n1 plus n2 plus 1 assuming fa is 0 So it is one over two, one plus one plus one is one over eight, and twelve point five percent. So we have one common ancestor in A. We developed a path from A to D and A to S. So we have two arrows. So arrow number one, n one is one, n two is arrow from A to D is also one. So one plus one plus one is in already in the formula. So it's one over two into three, which is twelve point five percent. So this individual is 12.5 percent inbred, or its inbreeding coefficient is 0.125. We have uh, another example with two common ancestors. We have a pedigree with two common ancestors, which is full sib mating. Arrow diagram is given here. We have an X individual. Its male parent is S, female parent is D, 
and S has two parents, A and B. Its male parent is A and female parent is B. And similarly, D has two parents. Its male parent is A and female parent is B. So let's solve this. Uh, we have two common ancestors. From one common ancestor, we have already developed paths. And n1 is 1, n2 is 2, and 1 over 2 into 3. For We will do the same thing for second common ancestor. Uh, we have a path from b to s and b to d. So n1 is 1, n2 is 2. It is 1 over 3. 1 over 2 into power 3. So here comes the use of summation. We will sum all the contributions from common ancestors. 1 over 2 in power 3 plus 1 over 2 power 3. So it's 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8, 2 over 8. And it's 0 0.25. Inbreeding coefficient is 0 0.25 or 25% inbred. Similarly, relationship coefficient can also be calculated. Pedigree relationship uh, can be measured by Wright's coefficient of relationship. I have named it as RSD after American geneticist Sewell Wright, 1922. And its formula is summation, a half N1 plus N2. Here, plus 1 is not there. So this is the difference between uh, inbreeding coefficient and relationship coefficient. 1 plus F is same. And we have an additional thing, 1 over plus uh, 1 plus FS, 1 plus FD under root. So RSD is relationship coefficient between animal S and D. N1 is number of generations separating common ancestor and S. N2 is number of generations separating common ancestor and D. And inbreeding coefficient F A is inbreeding coefficient of common ancestor A. FS is inbreeding coefficient of S. FD is inbreeding coefficient of D. And summation is already explained. So relationship coefficient can also be simplified if we uh, assume F A is also 0, F S is 0, F D is 0. So then R S D becomes summation a half N1 plus N2. So let's solve these examples for R S D. Uh, we have uh, 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 one common ancestor, arrow diagram is already given. And here we just need N1 plus N2 and it is 1 plus 1 and it's 25 percent so because s and d are half sips we have one common parent both share 25 percent of genes in common. and a second example we have pedigree with two common ancestors uh, its arrow diagram is already explained and its table is given here in this case we will only get 1 plus 1 1 over 2 1 plus 1 1 over 2 power 2 so we will add these two contributions, uh, 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4, 1 over 2, 0.5. So RSD is uh, 0.5 or 50% because S and D are full sims. Both parents are common. So both share 50% of genes in common. So this explains how we can estimate inbreeding coefficient and relationship coefficient. So take home message is values of inbreeding coefficients ranges from 0 to 0.5. So maximum value in the pedigree it could be 0.5. Inbreeding coefficient of an individual produced by half sib mating is uh, 0.125 and if mating is full sib then fx is 0.25 and inbreeding coefficient uh, produced by parent offspring mating is also 0.25 and similarly value of relationship coefficient can range from 0 to 1 if x and y are for example unrelated then rx y would be 0 if x and y are monozygotic twins then relationship would be 1 thanks for your attention